Beneath the blue sea waters of the South China Sea, there is a great amount of historical relics. If we unveil the mysterious remains and relics, what hidden stories will they tell us? This is a tablet inscribed with forbiddance by two houses. It looked common, but should not be looked down upon. It hid a big mystery. To let this piece of cultural relic talk, many archaeologists got together to painstakingly discover the truth. Uh,你,你,你所在的这个,你地方的观音啊,就相当于现在这个路易,就是路易呢,就是说穿的就相当于现在通行证啊,或是海关这个,那个那个票价,你必须要先交到我这来。你也必须要交过来才行。第二个
It was just the tip of the iceberg compared with all historical relics in the South China Sea. Now, let's take a look at the Museum of Tang and Sung Dynasties. Let's first come to the Round Island, Sweet Spring Island of Shisha. There are two wells, the water of which tastes sweet and nice. That's how the island got its name, Sweet Spring. The Museum of Tang and Sung Dynasties was found hidden on the island, where there were a large amount of ceramics, broken pieces of iron pots, and other things for production and daily life in Tang and Sung Dynasties. What's more, they once built the underwater constructions here. It seems that the ancestors in Tang Dynasty lived a comfortable life on the South China Sea. The ancestors in Tang Dynasty left the constructions and China. What treasures did the ancestors in the Ming and Qing dynasties leave there? On the islands and reefs such as Woody Island, Money Island, Prattle Island, East Island, and North Island of Shisha Islands, a large quantity of copper coins, ceramics, and other daily necessities of Ming and Qing dynasties was unearthed successively. On the major islands of Shisha and Nansha Islands, the relics of ancient temples were also found. We couldn't help but be amazed. Our Chinese fishermen were really capable. They were not satisfied just with the basic living conditions, but had higher spiritual pursuit. From far above the islands to beneath the sea, all kinds of cultural relics and remains are our ancestors' pleasant memories of the sea. The sea has never changed. We were here 1,000 years ago, and we will still be here 1,000 years later. Chinese people's feelings for the South China Sea will never change as time goes by.